the push button start car was the dumbest invention I think that car manufacturers ever came out with. And the reason why I say this is because the key alone that you need to have with you in order to push the button in the car to start, it costs $300, $200 to purchase. If you lose it, then you got to get it programmed. When back in the day, well, not even back in the day, when a normal car with a with a normal key crank system, all you have to do is just get a copy of the key. A locksmith will come out and do that. And what? A key costs what? Five, six dollars? But now we want to crank everything up with our push buttons and our remote systems. And what if the battery down in your remote system and you in another state or another country you can't even go nowhere you stuck and with the new cars you can't even hotwire a car to get where you need to go what if you in a in a in a life or death situation or or, or something like that and, and you you need to crank your car you you don't have your key and you need to hotwire it how is you gonna hotwire it and get where you need to go you know like in the movies when a guy is trying to get away from the killer or whatever and he got a hot wire car to get where he's trying to go well they can't make movies like that no more because everything is computerized if you try to get in the car hot wire it that thing ain't going nowhere these days but i don't see the point of having a push button i don't see the point of cranking your car when you're not in it it don't make sense it don't make a lot of sense it's cute it's cool but Logically, it don't make that much sense to have that type of um, feature on the car. Because if it malfunctions, you're going to be stuck and stranded. You cannot move. And I don't know if you ever had a time where your car broke down and you wasn't able to go nowhere and you had to call a tow truck. That's not a good feeling. But I think technology is just a little bit besides itself right now. Too many bells and whistles. A lot of these inventions don't really make sense.